Labor unions, they claim to fight for the working man. But in reality, unions distort the labor market, shrink the labor pool, and hurt workers, even if those workers aren't members of a labor union. Take Julius, for example. Julius is a 17-year-old entering the job market for the first time. Typically, people of Julius' age and experience have taken low-income, low-skilled jobs as a foot in the door to the job market. Unfortunately, minimum wage laws, which have been promoted by labor unions for decades, destroy entry-level jobs that would otherwise be available for someone of Julius' age and skill level. The very first minimum wage law in 1938 led to 50,000 people losing their jobs. Since then, economic researchers have shown that a 10% increase in minimum wage leads to a 3% reduction in teen employment. Now Julius is a 44-year-old and works at a manufacturing plant where he makes $51,000 per year. Julius is a father, a homeowner, and he's about to send his daughter to college. Unfortunately, Julius can't send his daughter to the top college she got into. That's because the collective bargaining agreements of government workers in his hometown and state mean his taxes have gone up. Again, taking even more money out of his bank account to pay the lavish salaries and benefits of public sector workers. So not only is Julius unable to afford to send his daughter to college, the family also has less money for groceries, gas, and vacations. Now Julius is 64. He's worked at the same company for 30 years and was looking forward to retiring on the pension funds he's contributed to for decades. Unfortunately, the unionized workforce at his company drove the enterprise into bankruptcy by increasing labor costs to the point that the company is no longer competitive with companies located in other states or around the world. So you see, even though Julius never belonged to a union, the laws, regulations, and politicians supported by unions have left him with fewer employment opportunities, less take-home pay, a higher cost of living, and a less secure future. Unions claim to be fighting for the working man. Try telling that to Julius. <laughs>